Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah. Wa ala ali wa sabi ya jumain amma abad. A'udhu billahi mina shaitanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. May peace, mercy and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on all of you. The topic of today's talk is Quran, the impact on humanity. What the Quran has mentioned and through the verses of the Quran, what the Muslims has implemented in our daily life. It is very important we understand the verses of the Quran, the impact and the impact that we have in our life. Alhamdulillah, today we are going to be speaking about a very important message. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah to Ashura, chapter 42, verse number 29, it is Allah who has created the heaven and the earth and has placed living creatures throughout them. Allah says in the Quran in Surah to Rahman chapter 55 verse number 33 that O jinn and men O jinn and mankind you will be able to penetrate between beyond the heaven and the earth not without Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala permitted this verses of the Quran is telling as a human being something that O oh, jinn and mankind Surah to Rahman chapter 55 verse number 33 that with power and skills you'll be able to penetrate between beyond the heaven and the earth not without the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this verses of the Quran was a shock and as we know that the Quran those who read the Quran Depending your academic background, if you read with the translation and the verses with understanding, it speaks to you direct. So in the early 8th centuries, Abbas ibn Firnas, he read these verses of the Quran. And he said that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned that with power and skills, we can go beyond the jinn and mankind can go beyond the heaven it is possible so the people ask him oh abbas ibn Firnas, how can a human being go to the heavens how can a human being flies so he said that this is what he replied he said that if you read the Quran, it is mentioned in Surah to Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 157 and 158, that Jesus Christ peace be upon him. Allah says, He raised Jesus Christ peace be upon him alive into the heavens. So, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has used Jesus as an example, that human being can go to the heavens but the problem of jesus christ is upon him is that he did not came back to tell the people that how it happens how did he get to the heavens so we as a human we know from the quran that 
Jesus went to the heavens, but we do not get chance to ask Jesus how it happens. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah to Ahazab, chapter 33, verse number 40. Ma kana Muhammadun aba ahadim rijalikum walakin Rasulullah wa khatam an-nabiyyin wa kana Allah bi kulli shay'in alima that prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is not the father of any human but he is the messenger of Allah and the last seal of the prophet and Allah is all knowing full of knowledge So he said that the prophet peace upon him is the last messenger. So he has to fulfill all the message that the previous messengers was given. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Ahzab, chapter 33, verse number 21, that لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ That in the Prophet, peace be upon him, Muhammad, peace be upon him, has a good example for us to follow. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also did went to the skies, he did went to the heavens, and he came back. So we did get chance to ask the prophet how it happens. And the prophet peace upon him did not reply that he have a wings or he just disappeared and went to the heavens. No, the prophet peace upon him show us that he used some object to go to the skies. So Abbas ibn Fina said, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran, in Surah to Rahman, chapter 55, verse number 33, that, O oh, jinn and mankind, you'll be able to penetrate between, beyond the heaven and the earth, not without the permission of Allah. If the Prophet did not, Allah did not use the Prophet as an example for us to know that it is possible that we can use an object, he will never think of doing this, of going flying to the skies. So he said that the prophet has become an example for us to follow, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. So when the prophet told us that he used an object to go to the skies, he did not have extra wings. Allah did not give him wings, and he did not disappear, but he did went with using by using an object. So it is possible that when we use an object, we can also go to the skies, as the Quran mentioned. So the people said, then how are you going to use an object? So if you read in the history, he said that in the early 8th centuries, Abbas ibn Firnas was the first human being who ever made make a scientific flying machine ever and that he was the first person to make a glider flying machine in aviation history ever and he was the first human being ever who has who invented the parachute for us to go to the skies. Alhamdulillah. Praise be to Allah. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this blessing. And today we have a blueprint. 
we have aeroplane that can take passengers. We have aeroplane that contains even goose. And we have aeroplane that is private jet, known as private jet. And we have different type of flying. Even we have drone today that we connect with something that no human being is not even inside but it did flies alhamdulillah this is the blessing of how allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the quran and he used the prophet peace be upon him as an example so abbas ibn fina said that the prophet peace be upon him allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the whole quran to him on this planet and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did took him to heaven. He did not took him to heaven to give him the Quran. He took him to heaven to show us that what he mentioned in Surah Al Rahman, chapter 55, verse number 33, is true. Alhamdulillah. Praise be to Allah. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his name, for his blessing. And today, each and every human being are having some kind of blessing from this basis of the Quran. Alhamdulillah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us. My name is Abdul Malik. Our platform that we are doing the Quran, the impact on humanity, is if you go to Facebook, it's Islamic Youth Foundation. That is our Facebook uh, page. If you go to YouTube, it is Islamic Youth Foundation. The number is, uh, you can subscribe to the channel, like and share. If you go to YouTube, the same name. If you want to call us, our number is, or WhatsApp us. Or if you use If you use Telegram also, our number is plus three nine three five one one nine one six six seven five. Inshallah, anytime, any day, you can reach us. Any question, any clarification, Inshallah. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdika. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.